This is the latest radio in my shack. As you can probably see, it's an SDR. And it is the RX888 Mark II. Now, I had what I think was a very good deal on this particular SDR. This came in um, at just under 100 UK pounds. And the reason this radio is significant is its capability in terms of its HF bandwidth. So if you're used to your SDR play type of SDR or maybe an RTL dongle, you'll know that you can look at a certain chunk of bandwidth in uh, terms of the SDR play devices. That's 10 megahertz. So on the screen, you could see a full 10 megahertz worth of bandwidth on HF. So let's say you could uh, see the band from 6 megahertz to 16 megahertz. Well, the RX888 is capable of a 32 megahertz bandwidth. So that's the whole of the HF band on view at once. Like a Kiwi SDR. Okay, you can do that with a Kiwi. But the RX888 isn't designed for remote network access necessarily. This connects directly to your PC like the SDR Play device. And uh, using your choice of SDR firmware, um, you can manipulate the radio. Now, uh, my software of choice is uh, SDR Console. I find that nice and easy to use. It works very well with this radio. But if you do buy one of these, then there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. The radio came in a plain cardboard box, and all that was with it was um, a USB connector. You'll see that the USB socket is, is slightly different on this. It's not like the standard, is it? The USB-A, the USB uh, printer style socket that you see on them. Um, some SDRs. It's not even one of those. It's got an extra little notch there. Slightly different. So I'm not sure what that connector is called. You're supplied with a suitable lead for that anyway. I think I've got a, a PC docking station that's got a similar connector. I have seen it before, but it's not often seen that connector. You get that included in any case. And um, then on the rear, you've got two SMA sockets. Uh, one is for the HF part of the radio, and one for the VHF, where it's VHF, UHF. Um, I think it goes up to 1.7 uh, gigahertz on the high side. This is the side we're really interested in. This is where this radio is different. We'll be using the HF port. Needs a USB 3 socket to drive it properly. And this is the other slight issue with one of these. If you want to run at that 32 megahertz bandwidth, you need a fairly powerful computer. I, f I ran this up first on an i5, um, uh, Intel i5 machine I've got in the shack that uh, I normally run my SDR software on. It's an old i5 machine now with uh, 8 gig of RAM and it could not run this receiver. It could run it on a 16 megahertz bandwidth just but it couldn't run it on the full bandwidth. So the only machine I've got at the moment that will run this is a um, an i7 laptop. So that's a fairly modern um, Intel i7 laptop with um, 16 gig of RAM. And I'll show you the RX888 uh, working under SDR console with that. But whilst these are available quite reasonably now, as I say, you're going to need the hardware to run them to take full advantage. Of course you can run the radio at a lower bandwidth on the, the i5 machine. Um, I had it run fine on 8 megahertz and just about on 16 megahertz bandwidth. That was okay. If you want to take full advantage you're going to need that more modern hardware. The reason I bought this when I had several SDRs already um, if you've looked at my video on Phantom SDR, if you haven't I'll, I'll put a link to it. Um, a lot of the Phantom SDR uh, stations are running the RX888 Mark II. Um, I was thinking of having a go at um, Phantom SDR. Unfortunately, you need quite a bit of knowledge on uh, Linux, which I don't have. I may still have a try when I can find the time, but I, I, 
foresee a lot of problems when I looked at the um, installation um, instructions such as they are for Phantom SDR they weren't very comprehensive and I think I would struggle to install Phantom SDR and get it running but we may have a go um, I believe you can also get this up and running with OpenWebRx um, so it can be accessed remotely but again um, I think the issue there would be having suitable hardware that would be capable of running the bandwidth that I could access remotely. So there's something we look at. In the meantime, I'll show you how the RX888 Mark II performs um, on a relatively modern machine and the advantages it has, let's say, over something like um, SDR Play RSP1A or whatever. Het is allemaal een beetje provisorisch zo, maar dat nou, komt wel weg. For an important step towards building an integrated partnership supported by twin Tunisian institutions, Charles and joint efforts, and working side by side for a promising future for our two peoples in our two brothers and neighboring countries. To meet him, also provided the Prime Minister added an opportunity to reform the convergence of views between the two countries on various regional and international issues of common interest. In particular, the Palestinian question and ways to support the broadly Palestinian people in regaining their legitimate rights through the establishment of the independent state. So, overall, this RX888 Mark II looks like good value for money. I paid just under uh, 100 UK pounds for it delivered. If you do a current search on AliExpress, um, generally it's a little bit more expensive than that, but it's worth hunting around, looking around to see if you can get a good deal on it. Um, if you need that um, wide bandwidth, that 32 megahertz bandwidth, it's pretty unique, I think, in, in that respect. Bear in mind that you need a fast PC to run it. Um, in the demonstration that I've put in this video, I was using an i7 PC, 16 gig of memory and um, an NVIDIA I think it's a 4060 uh, graphics card. The graphics card is quite important because SDR console, which I've used in this demonstration, um, uses the power of the graphics card to help run the radio. And that in turn reduces the strain on the CPU. The SDR console is the best piece of software to really utilize the capabilities of this radio. Um, you've got the various features where you can monitor all of the broadcast bands at once, all the HF broadcast bands or all the HF amateur bands, and that really harnesses 
the wide capability the rx888 i haven't tried it on the uh, vhf uhf side yet i will do that but bear in mind that um on uh, vhf and above the receiver just has um, a maximum bandwidth of 10 megahertz so similar in that respect then to the um, rs um, sdr play rsp products okay thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and uh, let's go for the next one